it is not right and, and, and it should come to an end. Okay. And as you say that, so how is your relationship with the president? My relationship with the president is okay. We have got a good working relationship. What does that mean? We work well. But you're asking him to do something because your career is on the line here and it's not happening. My career is not on the line. By the way, some those things don't bother me. I'm a very simple guy. I just came here the other day. For 57 years, I was there doing well. If today members of parliament and senate decided that I go home, my home is a few meters from here. My clothes here will not even fit in a pickup. I just take and leave. It's not that. It's about the people of Kenya. It's not about impeaching Ricardo Gashani. It's what yeah. it will do to the country in terms of political stability. Uh, He's a deputy president who is elected by 7.2 billion Kenyans. Who has a, a following of some one kind or another? And who have some people who believe in him? And we are having a country that is having challenges economically. We are having people feeling low, feeling down. And then you want to come and poison the political atmosphere. I don't think anybody wants to go into that direction. But if there's a direction whoever is arranging wants to go, so be it. Uh, there's nothing I can do. The matter is beyond my purview. You know, uh, let whoever wants to go ahead with it, go ahead with it. All we are doing ourselves is we'll inform the people of what is going on. And that I will do, by the way, mm -hmm. because I have a responsibility also. You know, I'm elected. And uh, going forward in the next few weeks, I'll be talking to my supporters and telling them what's going on, what is being planned, what is likely to happen, so that they are aware. You see, some. We are elected by the people. We have a responsibility to always inform your employer what is going on so that they know, so that they are aware of what is going on because people wonder what is going on. We have a responsibility as leaders to inform the people because they are the ones who have given us this job. I was not given these jobs by the president. I was not given by members of parliament. The president nominated me and proposed me for confirmation by the people of Kenya. Mm -hmm. The people of Kenya, by a popular vote, confirmed President William Ruto's nominee Rikadi as the right person for the job. Right. But the people who gave me this job are the people of Kenya. And therefore, if there are issues along the way that I find disturbing, that I find that they can cause political instability in this country, that I find they can be uh, <coughs> intrusive and they can uh, disrupt our development agenda, they can disrupt our political stability as a country, I have a responsibility to go to the people who voted for me mm -hmm. and explain to them exactly what is happening. And that I will do. And I have started today. And I will be doing that along the way because uh, I am answerable to some people. I cannot just sit here in current. Meetings are going on at night. You know, people are being intimidated. People are being coerced, you know, to disrupt, you know, my term to stop me from doing my work. And I just sit here. I cannot. I'll go to the people mm -hmm. and say, good people, you gave me the job. Are you happy with what I've done so far? Yes or no? Okay. If you have a problem, you want me to correct? But my people, this is what is being, uh, is being uh, planned. And it is when so who is planning it. So when you see it happen, please know this is what is going on. Deputy President, I, I take note that you keep going back to that conversation about the meetings and the plans that are being made. Uh, do you think the President knows about those meetings? Well, I don't know whether he knows, but many people in those meetings quote him, but he's not there. So I have no confirmation. How, how do you know they quote him? No, I, it is reported to me. They say, they, they invoke his name, that he's the one who has authorized those meetings. But since he's not in those meetings, I cannot accuse him. But the truth of the matter is, the way we work as UDA, as Kenya Kwanzaa, yeah. any motion of impeachment in the National Assembly, to remove the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya who will never fight his way to the House unless the President approves. That's the way we work. Any contentious issue that comes to the National Assembly, the Finance Bill, this and that, the President will call a PG and say, this is our agenda, can you go and prosecute it? So, even as people are planning, if that motion will ever fight itself to the House, it will have to get the approval of President William Ruto. So it will be his motion because he'll have to approve it. 
So since we have not reached there, I don't want us to, to, to say anything about it. Okay. But that is the truth because we have a way we work. That is a very heavy matter. It okay. is not a matter that can be taken to the floor of the House and unless that, the President has given an order. And on that specific matter of alleged impeachment, have you spoken to the President about it? I spoke to him once and he said he has not heard about it and he doesn't know about it and according to him, he said it's foolish uh, and nobody can try something like that because it can destabilize the country. That's what he told me in his own words. And thereafter, there was a meeting, he called members of parliament and the matter uh, stepped down. The matter has come up again. I have not asked him again. I'll, when I get an opportunity, when he comes back, I'll raise the matter again with him. I'll say, Mr. President, a meeting was held here, this was said. A meeting was held here, this was said. What do you have to say about it? Mr. President, do you want us to destabilize this country? Is it, are you part of it? Mm -hmm. What they are saying, the President will pronounce himself on the matter. But I want to say that there is no motion of impeachment against the Deputy President of the Republic of Kenya that can fight itself on the floor of the House unless the President of the Republic of Kenya gives a nod. Okay. And again, even if it was to go there, nobody else has the capacity to push it through. It's only the President himself. There is nobody else who can get in 233 members of parliament. It's only him who can push it through. But that's another discussion for another day. D -d -don't, you think, don't you think that's a problem? Because the constitution of Kenya has separation of powers between the executive, the judiciary, and the legislature. Are you admitting that parliament is controlled by the president? What I'm saying is, Mata Kenya Kwanza, you'd hear serious contentious decisions are agreed in a PG convened by the president. You saw the finance bill, he's the one who was driving it. So that tells you the way our PG works. Anything contentious, anything with serious national implications will have to get an order of the president. And, and I understand the political party democracy, but are you comfortable that a house business must get a nod from the president, including a clause on oversighting the deputy president, in this case, invoking at Quran 150. Well, the that is the reality of our Kenyan politics. Do you see a problem there? That is the reality that uh, all major decisions, all legislative agenda for our administration that needs to go to the National Assembly, the President normally does a lot of lobbying, sits with the members of Parliament, takes them through, gives the points for or against, and asks them to support.